In the previous episode, I was working on Project Do, creating a bit of height, creating a little spot which I now call the Sinisho Tower. And after doing that, I wanted to continue working on the tapestry around the Sinisho Tower. But unfortunately, I couldn't do that yet because I am unsure which plants I would be using for it. Because as you recall, there's a succulent competition coming in October and I intend to join it. The problem with that is I want to bring some of my plants to the show. But if I plant them in the ground now, that means that I would have to pull them out again and it would ruin the look of the plants and of the, the arrangement that I'm working on. I have to decide now which ones I'd be bringing to the show. That way I could work the rest into the tapestry. So let's plant. But in order to be able to decide which plants to bring to the competition, I would need to know what the classes are, the divisions are. The divisions are going to be in the competition in October. And I was hoping that they were going to talk about it in the last society meeting. So I attended the last one, which was sometime last week, but unfortunately they haven't released that list yet. And according to them, they would probably, they're still finalizing it, they're still working on it, and they would be releasing it uh, sometime during the next, the next succulent society meeting. This means that I would have to wait another month just to find out and that's a long wait. I need to work on this now. Speaking of the society meeting, we had this very nice talk from one of our fellow members. It was, I think it was Corey and he gave this talk about cactus and in particular it was about grafting with Pereskiopsis. I think that was, yeah, that was the name. And I think the presentation went really well. So if you're interested in checking him out, this is his channel, it's 87 Walker. You can find him on Facebook, Instagram. On Instagram, I'm not sure. Definitely Facebook and YouTube. So if you find yourself checking out these videos, tell him Chuck said hi. If you recall in one of the past episodes, I was thinking of bringing in a lot of my Echeverias into the show. That way I could represent Echeverias and let people know what type of, what sort of Echeverias are out there. My goal here is to convert a lot of these viewers, a lot of these people in the show into Echeveria collectors. That way we create even more demand. That way suppliers will supply us with even more varieties. At least that's what I hope. But going back to the problem, I'm not sure which plants I would like to bring because again, I'm not sure what the classes are. And the reason I'm having this dilemma right now is that I would like to win one class at least, one division. By knowing what the categories are, what the criteria are, I would be better equipped to win something at least. But while I do not have that categories, that class list, I think I should just go with what I feel I should bring and I should bring the plants that I am proud of. If you recall, I shared the rules some time ago and one of those rules was the plant must be in your possession for at least a year. That This ensures that you have been taking care of it for an entire year throughout the seasons. And this would also prevent people from just purchasing a very nice specimen and just bring it to the show, you know? Just to be fair with others. So I'm definitely going to grab something from my Freely area. And speaking of which, again, I got sidetracked there. We were talking about the name. I've decided on the name. From now on, let it be known as the Philippines. <laughs> Philippines. As far as the plants here on Philippines are concerned, I'm not really worried about pulling them out because as you can see, I've just free planted them everywhere. So having a bare spot here and there won't affect me that much. At least I won't be sad that the design would be ruined because there's no design right now. So anything that I pick from here would be fair game. But as for the rest of the plants, especially those loose ones which I intend to use in the tapestry right next to the Senisho Tower, I have to make a decision which ones to keep and which ones to plant in the ground. That way I won't be having to plant them in and uproot them again over and over in preparation for the show. So I'll be going around the garden and I'll show you some of my shortlist. There are a bunch of plants here that I want to bring with me, particularly the large caranculated ones. You could see this monoloa right here, the barbillion over there, and the verugas right here. Let me just give you a closer look.
There's also a bunch of plants here in the ground which I want to use. This bluebird and maybe the Brantii. I'll also be taking this Benny Musume. I just need to find a better pot for this. It's quite red. Another candidate would be this Echeveria linceana, Colorata linceana. And yeah, I think, I think I have a larger one, but this one looks more perfect. So I'll go with this one. I'm also bringing my largest Agavoidis red edge. And this is it. I just need to decide if I want to keep it in this pot or place it in another bowl, I guess. I'm taking this Orion as well. If there was going to be a category for clumps, then I'll be bringing this Echeveria Martin. Clumpy. I've also got a bunch of plants here on standby. You know Rick Astley. This is an Echeveria Bumps. Sorry, Rick Astley is a Patreon plant. It has been named Rick Astley by Oscarino and it is actually an Echeveria Cante. So I've got this Echeveria Bumps here, Echeveria Pompus. This is an Etna. I don't think I'll be bringing this curls with me because it's still recovering, but we'll see what it does. Let's see how it looks by the time the show comes around. But yeah, definitely bringing this clump here. Last year, there was a category for three of a kind. And if it's still the same this year, I'm thinking of bringing this three. So let me just show you. It will all make sense. So this is a, you probably know this. This is an, no, this is an Aeonium Sunburst. This is an Aeonium Starburst. And this is an Aeonium David Bramwelli. If you haven't noticed it yet, these are three of the same plants, just at different stages of variegation. So the, the most sought after, the most prized here is the sunburst. Somewhere in between would be this one. The, the streaks are somewhere in the middle rather than outside. And of course, the David Bramwelli has no variegation. So it would be interesting, you know, this is, this is going to be an interesting showcase seeing the different stages. I'm also planning to bring with me my all-time favorite plant and this is it, the Aeonium Arboreum Short Black, a mutation of the Zwartkopf which keeps it rather small and clumpy, low-growing and more dense than a typical Zwartkopf, so really nice. There was also a class last year for mixed planting or arrangements and as you can see in the background there's a whole lot of plants that you can pick from. I could definitely whip up something, you know. I just have to find a suitable bowl, suitable container, and maybe even a planter. Yeah, plant them in. Lots of potential, man. And of course, we can't say show quality without looking at some of my Patreon plants here. So I'm definitely bringing this Zoro, this Tutti Frutti, maybe even that Dix Pink over there. If I still have the space, maybe this one, this is a Mary Butterfield, and here, bittersweet. Lots of choices, man. And then I have all of these little plants to choose from. I still have a lot of time to think about them because they are in the ground. No, they are in pots and I could move them anytime, anytime I want. So there's no real rush to work on them now. I guess I just have to decide which ones I want to keep in there. And yeah, this is going to be a shrine or a display area for my agavoides and bowl shaped rosettes so now that i've decided on which plants i would be bringing i guess i could just plant in the rest but i'm not going to do that now because it's starting to get dark and it has been raining for the past few days the soil is still wet so in the next few episodes we're going to think about the design for that area for the tapestry and we're finally going to fill it up so i'll see you then bye Sariscapades is made possible with the support of my Patreon sponsors. Patreon allows you to support content creators like me with a small monthly donation. You can pledge your support by heading over to patreon.com slash If you're in Australia, I've got some of my plants for sale. Check out my plant shop at sariscapades.com slash theplantshop with dashes.